What's up YouTube? So the wait is finally over. We have brand new Flash. Flash Season 3 Episode 1. Finally. So it's been absolute months of waiting and anticipation. Especially after that huge cliffhanger at the end of Season 2. Hinting that Flashpoint is coming to the DC TV universe. Now with Flashpoint, if you didn't know, Flashpoint was where time completely changed and Barry went back in time to stop Eobard Thorne from killing his mother and it all completely changed. It changed time. We had Batman's father, Thomas Wayne, having the mantle. His mother was the Joker as well, which is madness. And it had Thomas Wayne and Barry Allen working together to get Barry's powers back as when Barry went to the Flashpoint timeline they had no powers. Crazy, huh? So, also, we had Aquaman versus Wonder Woman in some kind of massive, huge, huge battle for the planet, which was amazing. And you had the Flashpoint kind of core comic, and then you had just spin-off after spin-off after spin-off, where we had just madness going on in the DC Comics universe. So, we didn't get any of that <laughs> this time. We had Barry come back, live his life. He had three months with both his parents together. And we saw the kid Flash. We saw this radically time-changed world with Cisco Ramon being a billionaire douchebag. We had Caitlin not really be there. She was a kid's eye nurse, or eye doctor, sorry. And we had... Edward Claris, the rival, face off against Kid Flash. So the rival is actually Jay Garrick's major enemy back in the Golden Age of Comics, who, with Edward Claris, he was pissed off that Jay Garrick would not share the whole serum with him, the way and the secret to the Speed Force. So what happened was we had Edward Claris be a massive douchebag and run around and try and be a massive dick, which is pretty similar to what we're going on here, in the fact that he's being a massive dick and wants to be the fastest man alive and is super pissed that he is not. Or, well, he's super pissed that the Kid Flash is trying to take him on, which I thought was really cool. We got to see that briefly. Now, my big bone of contention with this episode is that we didn't get to see the ho it, it was like the abridged version of Flashpoint. We, we hit all the main points. Barry getting time with his parents, Barry forgetting time, and also Barry going back and fixing it. Now, in the comics, the way it was fixed was Barry went back and just didn't let things happen. And we saw Thomas Wayne kill Reverse Flash with a massive fuck-off sword, which was pretty badass. But this time, we had Barry release him from prison. Now, one thing I didn't get is, surely Earth-1 Harrison Wells should have been alive. Because Reverse Flash never went on the run. And Reverse Flash never took the identity of Harrison Wells. Okay, you get me with me here? So that's really weird that that didn't happen. But I found it very strange that they come back so soon. So Flashpoint is over. Flashpoint was just one episode. I'm quite disappointed with that. We never got to see the wackiness of a brand new universe. But ho-hum, we do have changes. We have the fact that Iris West is now not talking to her father in this brand new universe. And in this new, I would say, a new 52 storyline that they're doing now, we have brand new stories and we can see that the residuals of Flashpoint are completely messing up. And this is why in episode 3, we're going to get Jay Garrick return to the show and help Barry fix things. That's when Jesse Quick and Harrison Wells will return as well, as they said they would at the end of season 2. And interestingly, did you notice as well that the chief of police in the Flashpoint universe 
was the sidekick of Jay Garrick in the original 90s Flash TV show as well, which I thought was really cool. What's interesting moving on from Flashpoint is that Edward Claris will still become the rival in the main continuity timeline. So not in the Back to the Future 2 timeline, <laughs> not in the crazy, wacky 12 Monkey storyline, but we're going to get the whole rival in the show, which seems to indicate to me they are going to get the whole craziness of Kid Flash as well. So that's what's going to happen moving forward. And we've got Dr. Alchemy as well. Now, it's heavily hinted that Dr. Alchemy will be Tom Felton's character. We haven't seen him yet. He'll be in episode two. But Dr. Alchemy had this these powers where he could just use like the Philosopher's Stone, which is kind of weird because that's what Harry Potter, <laughs> all that Draco Malfoy stuff. But it seems like Dr. Alchemy wants to use those powers to create the rival and seem to create a lot of trouble. So that's it for that episode. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow for more Arrow as well. So see you soon. Goodbye.